Uh, protesters targeted at a white nationalist rally in Virginia. A driver mows down a crowd of people, killing one, hurting many others. That driver now facing murder charges this morning. Now, it all started early yesterday morning at a Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. Things quickly got ugly with several people hurt and arrest. Police dispersed the crowd and many were leaving when carnage took place. Late last night, people in L.A. took to the streets. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Groups against the white nationalists also gathered in downtown L.A. About 60 to 70 people rallied in front of the LAPD headquarters. The demonstration was peaceful and in the meantime, we are learning more about the man charged in yesterday's deadly attack in Virginia. Here's Tom Waite. Police say this man, 20-year-old James Fields, was the driver of a car that plowed into a crowd of protesters who were rallying against white nationalists. New video shows the horrific and deadly attack. Protesters surround the car after it stops. The driver throws it into reverse. People left the car in because they thought it was a cop car. So he was slow, and then he slammed on the gas right into people that were in front of another car. It wasn't until after the scene had cleared out that I, I realized that I had seen people possibly dead on the ground. Police caught and arrested Fields at the scene. They say he's from Maumee, Ohio. He now faces a slew of felony charges. We are currently treating this as a criminal homicide investigation. As investigators soar through the carnage from the attack, the suspect's mother told reporters she knew her son was leaving for a rally, but did not know exactly what it was. I don't really talk to him about his, you know, political views. I mean, he just, so I, I don't really understand or what the rally was about or anything, so. Meanwhile, President Trump denounced the violence, but he did not mention the Ku Klux Klan or the white supremacists who gathered from across the country in his statement. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. And that was Tom Waite reporting. The Justice Department has launched a civil rights investigation into the attack. As for the victim who was killed, Police have not named her, but they do say she was 32 years old. Five other victims are in critical condition.